How's everyone today? Um, so, uh, today's just the middle of January, but anyway, I'm dumping some sawdust uh, for our cows and our little pasture we have for them. Uh, I couldn't get the truck in here because of all the hills we have, and it's like 40 degrees, so the ground was frozen, but now the top of it's all slippery. So anyway, I couldn't get to pick up the truck in here, so I'm using the tractor to do it. And my tractor's calling for a regen, so um, I figured I would just go ahead and show you if you've never seen it. I know I've had several questions on it before. Uh, I'll show you what what it looks like, I guess, and what you got to do to start the regen process. Um, this is probably only the second time this year. Well, I guess it's a new year. Uh, so in the winter and the fall is typically the only time my tractor will regen because in the summertime I'm typically working it hard enough that it, it burns all the soot out of the filter anyway so uh, this M4 does not have DEF so it doesn't have the exhaust fluid but it does have the particulate filter so this is what cleans the particulate filter um, and uh, I'll kind of show you how that works and then uh, kind of show you what I'm doing anyway but uh, let me show you the little flashing lights here so those lights there you see the PM is a particulate matter uh, this M4 has several different things you can look at here so you can change it to that usually if if it's empty the bar will be uh, white instead of the black looking I like to leave it on the percent just because personal preference I guess but anyway so this little button over right here that is saying we need to clean the particulate filter this one over here is saying I need to increase my RPMs so right now I'm idling um, so I'll go ahead and bolt this up usually it's, it's like 2200 RPM like I said people get pretty worried about this but I think I may do maybe a couple two three a year but if you do a lot of loader work and stuff like that you know the more you're not kind of running at pto speeds and stuff like that you're not working hard enough then you know it'll require more but you see how that light went out and that's because i have the rpm set up high enough so now it's going to start burning out the particulate matter uh, it does take a minute um, and she, she sits there and she's just a screaming but uh, typically you can work and here in just a second I'm going to uh, here in just a second I'm gonna un, I'm gonna drop this trailer and I'm gonna move some of the sawdust around I'll just leave the rpm where it is and carry on with my work and uh, yeah it's a lot higher than what I want it to be uh, for loader type work um, but anyway it'll do its thing clean itself out and then it'll go back down to zero again but uh, let me show you what I'm doing here today sorry it's gonna be kind of loud uh, because that is running at 2200 rpm and sitting there but anyway I got my little dump trailer on here and uh, I got a load of sawdust for my cows that I get from the local sawmill here so I'm gonna show you show you what that looks like uh, let me see if I can set you over here somewhere.
was my tripod slash burnt hog. Uh, but anyway, uh, that's how I like to dump it. Oh. You can see it's still doing its rejigging, so it's not going to be too hard to done yet because it's still calling for the um, regen and it's you can see it's flashing so whenever it's all done it'll go back to zero here keep doing its thing. Uh, it'll be done here in just a few minutes. Uh, probably about the time I'm done doing my lower work. And the particular matter will say zero. And I'll put it up about 1500 RPM or so to do my lower work. And that's about it. Like I said, uh, I'm not a huge fan of the, all the particulate filters and the DEF and that stuff. But uh, no way around it. Uh, anyway, I'm not going to get into that big debate. Trust me, I don't like it, but uh, it just is the way it is right now. But anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for having me.